Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a crash course on how to solve for large modulos. Um, in this video specifically, we are going to be looking at successive squaring. Say we wanted to solve this congruence 14 to the 52 mod 33. Now, 14 to the 52 is a huge number and isn't exactly feasible for us to calculate. So we use successive squaring to split up our 14 to the 52 into smaller numbers that are easier to work with. So for successive squaring, we're going to look at 14 to the power 2, 14 to the power 4, 14 to the power 8, and so on. And we're going to take those mod 33. And so I've already done all of the math, so I'm just going to go ahead and write all of them down. And so we find all of these values by, instead of just computing 14 to the 16, we look at, we square the previous number because 14 to the 8 squared is 14 to the 16. So we can just square our 16 to find our next number mod 33. And then we stop at the exponent before we get to 52. So our next exponent would be 14 to the 64, which would be of no use to us because our exponent only goes up to 52. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna write out 52 as a sum of our exponents here. 52 is equal to 32 plus 16 plus four. And so we're going to look at each of the modulus that correspond to those numbers. So we're going to look at 14 to the 32 times 14 to the 16 times 14 to the 4 mod 33. And so we already have all of these numbers from our computations earlier, so we can go ahead and just plug them in. So 14 to the 32 becomes 31 mod 33 times 14 to the 16, which is 25 mod 33, and 14 to the 4 is 4. And then we just multiply this out, reduce mod 33, and we get 31 mod 33. 14 to the 52 is then congruent to 31 mod 33. And we're done. You do not have to use the exponent 2 as your base, you could use any number that you wish. Like you could start with 14 to the 3 and compute that way, and then square that. So we could get 14 to the 3, 14 to the 6, 14 to the 12, and compute it that way. Either way, you're going to come up with the same solution, um, whichever way you prefer. Thank you so much for watching. This has actually been part of my final project for my math degree. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.